My name is Kathy Wu. Uh, I'm the Gilbert W. Winslow Assistant Professor of the Department of Civil and Environmental Engineering, as well as the Institute for Data Systems and Soci Society. And I'm also a principal investigator in uh, the Laboratory for Information and Decision Systems. Um, what brought me to MIT is um, to advance our um, advanced control and optimization in transportation. My overall research area is uh, what you might call learning enabled control and optimization, especially for mobility systems. And what this means is, uh, as we've discussed, transportation is full of these control and optimization problems. For instance, traffic control, traffic signal control, uh, as well as uh, routing of vehicles, routing um, to deliver packages, for instance. Um, and these are notoriously challenging problems due to nonlinear dynamics uh, in the control problems and due to um, what's often called the curse of dimensionality for these uh, logistics and operations questions. And so with a lot of advances and a lot of, um, uh, basically with a lot of advances in machine learning in recent years, uh, I think we have an opportunity to actually revisit a lot of the um, long-standing challenges in the field. Um, so one sort of, uh, one sort of very interesting challenge to me that um, my research group here is uncovering, uh, that sort of, in some sense, existed all along, um, but we're sort of trying to um, bring it more to light is something that we're calling the curse of variety. This is to describe how, uh, when we think of, say, for instance, traffic signal control, we don't just mean a single control problem because the control problem could be different depending on uh, uh, the time of day. It could be different depending on the weather conditions. It could be different depending on if it's electric vehicles on the roads or trucks. Uh, or what kinds of technologies are there to measure what kind of information on the roadways, what kind of sensing, what kind of communication. These are actually, um, like all of these factors actually induce a sort of exponentially large set of different control problems. And this is also true for optimization problems, for operations, for logistics problems. And so, um, we see a lot of evidence in this in the literature where we see hundreds if not thousands of papers on um, these control problems, on traffic control, on platooning of vehicles, on how to drive efficiently and, and so on. Um, and it's not scalable for us to individually study each of these. And so we're really excited and um, we're, we're sort of modeling these problems, we're sort of devising um, learning-enabled, machine learning-based um, uh, methods that allow us to much more scalably solve not just a single control problem or a single optimization problem, but a family of control problems, a family of optimization problems that could be uh, exponential in size. The implications here are that, you know, having to solve these control problems one at a time, each problem effectively takes a grad student, you know, a few months at best, a year, two years to solve, and there are, you know, thousands uh, of these problem variations, which is why we're calling this the curse of variety. And so, in order for us to gain the confidence that a control strategy, an improved control strategy, is worth say, deploying on our streets um, may take years. Uh, and we actually lose out on a lot of opportunity to improve safety, improve environmental um, uh, issues, improve equity uh, if we need to uh, sort of wait that long. And so uh, being able to accelerate this process is a huge potential.